Hey guys, I'm Roland Tech Fusiast, and I've been using the Logitech MX Mechanical Keyboard for a little more than two weeks, and here are my thoughts on it. Hope you enjoy. Before we talk about the design, let's take a closer look at the packaging and see what's inside the box. The MX Mechanical comes with a USB-A to USB-C cable and a Logitech Bolt dongle. There's all the usual paperwork, warranty and that kind of stuff, nothing else. Logitech always includes all of the necessary accessories and is the same this time around. Setting up the keyboard was also easy and straightforward and the provided instructions made it a breeze. You can connect the keyboard via Bluetooth or the Logibolt dongle. However, I don't see the point of downloading the Logibolt application which only manages the Bolt enabled devices and nothing else. I hope this can be simplified by using only the Logi Options Plus application in the future to decrease the clutter of apps and the setup required. Other than that, the packaging was excellent and the setup was easy and only took a few minutes. The Logitech MX Mechanical might look like a standard keyboard, but it's far from that. It feels premium right out of the package, and while this is subjective, I love the way it looks and feels. It doesn't feel like cheap plastic, and you can tell it's one of the higher end keyboards that you can find on the market. It's also worth noting that given the premium feel, it doesn't weigh much, and it feels fairly light, just enough that it doesn't feel like a heavy rock when I move it around on the desk. The MX Mechanical has a low profile and there's not much travel. One of the main letdowns of this otherwise expensive keyboard is that the keys are hot swappable and you're stuck with what you get. If you want to change them, you'll have to do some labour and personally, I don't think it's worth the hassle. If you're looking for hot swappable switches, this isn't it. Turning the keyboard on its back reveals two feet, allowing you to tilt the keyboard up at an 8 degree angle. Kudos to Logitech for displaying that on the feet itself. On the downside, there's no way of adjusting it between the 0 degree and the 8 degree angle, but the inclusion definitely deserves some bonus points. On the top of the device you'll find a power button and a USB-C port. The port can only be used for charging purposes, so don't expect it to be able to act as a USB hub for charging your accessories. Overall, it has a minimalistic layout and premium feel, so if you're after something that doesn't shout gamer, this will fit in any professional setup. The MX Mechanical comes with a ton of features such as customizable effects for the backlit keys, the keyboard can wake up and light up once your hands approach it, and the brightness can also be adjusted based on the lighting conditions, extending the pressure's better life. There are six backlight effects you can choose from, including static, contrast, breathing, wave, reaction, and random one that mixes between all of the effects. I used the contrast and the static effects during the review period, and I think they are the best for when you want to type away in dark environments. You can also customize a select few keys to work differently based on the applications that you're using. For instance, you can set the F7 key to turn on Do Not Disturb, which could be handy for Google Meetings and other conference services. There are a lot of shortcuts and features you can choose from, and it's a great way for power users to get the most out of their keyboard. The F1, F2 and F3 buttons also act as easy switch keys that let you switch between other computers. I use a Mac generally for all types of purposes including work and I like to fire up my Windows desktop when I want to play games with friends. You can pair up to 3 devices giving you plenty of options to use all of your machines including smartphones, tablets, Linux machines, Chromebooks and more. Last but not least, if you have a Logitech MX Master wireless mouse, the Logitech Flow feature will allow you to drag and drop, copy and paste files across different devices. It's a neat feature and it could be handy if you use multiple computers on a daily. The keyboard has three different types of switches, linear, tactile and clicky. The one I'm reviewing is the tactile quiet version. It feels pleasing to my ears and it's not loud, even when I'm typing really fast, although I think it's best suited in your personal work environment and not in offices as it could get loud. If there's something I didn't like and found a hit and miss, it's the way the keyboard's brightness is automatically adjusted throughout the day. I prefer to nearly max out the brightness at night, but most of the time it was stuck in the middle. I could see the keys at night, but I always had to manually adjust it as there wasn't an option to turn it off. Additionally, the smart illumination feature didn't work all the time when my hand approached the keyboard. This feature worked perfectly on the Logitech Craft, and I think the software of the MX Mechanical needs an update to tweak it slightly. 
Overall the keyboard's performance was excellent and I enjoyed working and even gaming on it. It took me about 4-5 to five days to get used to it, having used the Logitech Craft for all of my gaming and working needs in the past 2 years or so. It's an excellent all-rounder and I can easily recommend it to everyone. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, the USB-C port can only be used for charging and it's located at the top right side of the keyboard next to the power switch. It's a great location, although some might disagree with the placement being preferred on the left side or the middle. When it comes to the battery, Logitech advertises the MX Mechanical to last for about 15 days on a single charge with the backlighting turned on, or 10 months with it being turned off. The device also reportedly gives you a full day's worth of use off a 15 minute charge, which is neat and good to have. It's also worth mentioning that you can use the keyboard while it's plugged in, unlike Apple's Magic Mouse. I charged the keyboard up to 100% the day I received it and unplugged it the morning I woke up to start work. As a writer, I write anywhere between 1500 to 3000 words each day and I can confirm that the 15 day battery rating is accurate and you can easily go for 2 weeks using this keyboard with the backlighting turned on. After a week of use I was quite surprised to find that the battery was still at 80% and Logitech seems to have gotten pretty good at preserving the battery on this thing. After more than 2 weeks of use I'm still sitting at 50% and I'm very impressed. The keyboard automatically turns off when it's not being used for longer periods, preserving the battery and extending it further. The battery life is far better than the Logitech Craft which I've been using in the past 2 years or so and I'll make a video comparing the MX Mechanical and the Logitech Craft in an upcoming video so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. This video may have been a little bit longer than I initially anticipated but I think it's worth it for the extra information. If you're on the market for a new keyboard that works simultaneously across 3 devices, it's backlit and has mechanical switches, the Logitech MX Mechanical is one of the best keyboards. It's a premium keyboard and while the price is high, I think it can be justified with the excellent design, feel and typing experience. There shouldn't be too many differences between the MX Mechanical and the MX Mechanical Mini and the two keyboards come with basically the same functionality, feel and design but if you prefer a full size keyboard like I do, it's perhaps best to pick that up instead. If you prefer hot swappable keys, RGB and in general just more customizability, then you'll find that the MX Mechanical might not be the best fit for you. I'll also be reviewing the MX Master 3S mouse and the Logitech G413 TKL SE gaming keyboard in the coming weeks, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the reviews. That being said, the MX Mechanical is an easy recommendation. If you've been eyeing the MX Keys or the Logitech Craft, then I would strongly recommend you to check them out at your local store, and if you find the Mechanical Keys pleasing and fun to use, pick it up. And there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, leave a like and don't forget to subscribe, it would help me out a lot. That being said, thank you for watching, I'll see you next time.